Well, before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor for this video. The Hedgehog Devil. Yep, right up there above me. May we all be gored on his orange horns of evilness. For he will one day be the master of us all. After all, he's already the master of this channel. Um, but yeah, let's just get started here. Yeah, I found that at, uh, well, I was at Goodwill. I was trying to see if there's any interesting books or movies in, but couldn't find anything there for that stuff. But then I walked across, you know, the hedgehog devil up there. I'm just like, you know what? I gotta have it. Especially since it was half off, so it's only uh, like a buck fifty. So I'm just like, for that price, it's worth it just for the novelty. So yes. We now have the Hedgehog Devil on our side. And yeah, I had to level all the way up to level 9. I'm not trying to overlevel and just pound my way through here. I had to literally get up to level 9 to learn pound in order to smack around my enemies. <laughs> so yeah. Puffy here did not come with any attacks. You know, catch a Jigglypuff at level 3, it only knows Sing, and then learns Defense Curl. So yeah, it's kind of annoying here. Ugh. But, you know, I, I can work with it. It just means, you know, the rest of the team's probably not going to be doing much until we get, you know, all the way over to Goldenrod. Because when we get there, we can pick up Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and start passing those onto the, the Puff Balls. That way they have, you know, a decent attack, you know. Especially for their level they'll probably be at. But, yeah. We're going to be holding off on that. Ooh. But that was a 7 level advantage, that was really fair. That poor Pidgey though, it got smacked so hard. Even the devil up there is, wh is whimpering. It's like, you're not going to do that to me, are you? Like, like nah, you're, 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 a cute, you're a cute little devil, I can't hit you that hard. I I'm afraid the Pidgey just wasn't cute enough to be saved. <laughs> Neither was that Riotata either. They, they, they need to work on the cuteness factor. You know, that way they can be evil and get away with it. Well, let's just take your money and keep moving on. Yeah, we need to make everyone give us money. She doesn't have any money. She's tapped out. Stuff Pokemon, I found a trainer. Well, you're gonna wish you just found Bug Pokemon, because that's about all you can handle. And yeah, I did pick up a Jigglypuff while I was at Walmart picking up some groceries earlier. It was only $13, so I'm just like, you know, that's... Alright, you know, for an expenditure for this run. And I'll probably throw up in other videos, too. Most likely, because let's face it, I do have quite a few that aren't being used the most. There's just so many. I need to start, like, putting them on a rotation or something, like, on a weekly or monthly basis or something. I'll work it out eventually. I also, oddly enough, had a chance to pick up, you know, the starters for, um, what was it, 4th Gen? You know, with Piplup and, um... Chimchar and Turtwig, but I decided against that. Mainly because they were 20 bucks a piece, because they were the um, Pokemon Center version, so they're more expensive. I'm just like, you know what? As cool as these are, they're not 60 bucks cool, okay? That's just too much to spend on plushies in, in one go. So, maybe if they're still there over the next couple of months, I'll pick them up. I mean, I did get a Christmas gift card for Walmart for 50 bucks, but I'd rather just put that towards, you know, getting a new table in here and setting up another pet cage than, you know, dump it onto plushies. Especially plushies from a gen we haven't even covered. Well, let's see if our sing's a success. Nope. Well, in that case, let's just pound it. Oh, come on. Don't mess with my defenses. Just fight me head on, Ratata. We will see who truly is worthy. Well, at least it did some actual damage, unlike those trainers Pokemon, I guess. Of course, we need to get to level 14 to learn our truly fearsome move with Rollout. I'll take this. I don't need it, but I can always sell it for a little extra cash, right? Well, let's go this way. Yep, I'll take the Pokeball. I don't need it, but I'll take it. And since I want your phone number, I suppose we should battle. I mean, I can come back here and fight him a couple times later on for a little bit more experience. And I suspect we're going to be in the area a lot more than I'd like to think about, so... It's a number maybe worth picking up. Oh, come on. A level 2 Caterpie? What's this Caterpie going to do? P 
cookie on me? Or is he gonna offer me pie? It's not March 14th. You can't offer me pie yet. It's not pie day. Besides, I already got cake. Cakes are obviously superior to pies. At least in my world they are. I don't know about yours. Now let's get back to pounding these carapies as hard as we can. And yeah, if you're curious why the name is Puffy, it's because I was going to go with Puffy Amiyumi. Uh, unfortunately, um, we found us another male Jigglypuff, so that one got named Yami instead. Um, so just to switch off one letter. We're probably going to breed that one, to be honest, um, later on. So I can pick up another female Jigglypuff, because I figured breeding a female Jigglypuff would be a lot easier than trying to um, catch one. Because the chance of finding Jigglypuff is like 5% on that road. So, they're not the most common encounter. I suppose I could have st stayed out there and did some grinding, but one of the more common um, appearances is Geodude, and I really don't have to run away from that thing, you know, repeatedly. So yeah, the name conventions are a bit messed up here at the moment. Oh yeah, phone number. Yeah, give me your phone number, kid. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you just take it? for a rematch call, thank you. Unlike Hiker Anthony, who rarely calls about rematches, and still likes to bug me about, you know, his most pointless failures as a trainer. As well as, you know, when a bunch of um, Pokemon pop up in that dark cave we don't care about, Dunsparce. Honestly, one of these days I'm gonna have to do a run with Dunsparce. Because, you know, Dunsparce is terrible, it deserves its own series. I just don't know what I would do with it, because its only real good move is, like, Rage. Like, like, that's literally about it. That's, that's like, it's only good attack option for the longest time. It's just a rage on the opponent. And it's not even tanky enough to make that work. Oh, man. It's gonna suck when we get to that. But, for now, at least, you know, Team Jigglypuff has made it to the next town. We can get ourselves ready for our first gym battle. Until then, see ya.